computer. There is a CPU, a central processing unit, that does the number crunching, that is the processing of information. And then there is a hard drive, or another chip these days, and that does the storage of information. So we have processing and storage. What do, you, what do we have in here? Neurons, little cells. By the way, you, pray, you may have learned we have little gray cells in here. Now this thing's yellow. It was wrong. Actually, this picture is wrong. Because on this area, there are about 200 neurons. And on top of that, to, to every neuron, there are fibers coming in. Not just this, these couple of dozen fibers. No, per neuron, about 10,000 fibers come in and bring in information in the form of electrical signals. Okay. And if you would see, if you saw 200 neurons, for each of which you have 10,000 fibers coming in, you wouldn't see anything. You would be lost in a, in a thick felt of, well, nothing much to see. So how do you make these pictures? And I'm telling you this because you have all seen pictures like this. But they are an artificial product of the method to make them. And the way to do them is you take a little syringe and you inject, in this case, yellow dye into one of the cells, wait a bit, such that it spreads around, and then you shine a light on it. And then you see only the yellow dye and nothing but that. This is how to make photos of single neurons. They don't exist. What exists in here is a thickly packed mesh of neurons and fibers, and it, it, it looks, uh, well, it looks so bad you can't see anything, really. So in order to see it, you have to highlight one from 200, leave out all the incoming fibers, and then you make these nice images of neurons. We know for more than 100 years that neurons are connected, they have these connections. This is a nice drawing of such a connection. It's called a synapse. 